one of the things that affects the overall quality of cut flowers and plants uh, is ethylene. Ethylene is a naturally occurring growth hormone. It's odorless and colorless, used all the time in the produce industry to ripen fruits and vegetables. Uh, bananas are probably the most popular fruit that's ripened via ethylene treatments. But with cut flowers and potted plants, it is a huge negative and it's deadly in minute amounts. So we want to avoid ethylene exposure at all cost. Uh, flowers that are highly ethylene sensitive, carnations, gyp, delphinium, uh, agapanthus, those are treated at farm level against ethylene exposure with STS. It's a post-harvest uh, solution that is a systemic. But some, that doesn't mean that you don't experience ethylene issues when you're receiving product, checking things in and processing. It's odorless and colorless, so how do we know that we have it? The symptoms are our only clue. And the symptoms are uh, you open up a box of beauty berry, let's say, and you've got a box full of berries in the bottom. You'll see this with uh, holly, agapanthus, maybe your delphinium or your bellamosa or belladonna. It's just the petals are just falling all over the place. Wax flower, you shake it and all your flowers fall off the stems. Um, Sometimes even roses that are not treated at farm level, they're not considered particularly ethylene sensitive, but especially when we get to the holidays, Valentine's Day, and the flowers have been stored, they've been stressed, they're under refrigeration, but still when you receive them, you open up the package and the whole bud pops off in bud form. You just have the anthers waving in the wind, and sometimes you'll pick up the bunch and you'll all the leaves will just fall off. Classic, classic example of ethylene damage. So use the correct terminology when you describe your problem to your supplier. I think I've got an ethylene problem. Things are falling apart. They're looking old before their time. I've got buds that are shriveled on the same, ste the same stem where buds are not even opening yet. I've got freesia where one or two of the florets has opened and the others have shriveled. Dendrobium orchid, you'll see the buds will turn brownish and shriveled. Flowers look old prematurely, and that's what ethylene is. It's the aging hormone. You want to avoid it at all cost. It's produced internally by flowers and externally by things like cigarette smoke, fruits and vegetables. Always keep them separate. Even lunches stay out of the flower coolers. Deco mosses, do not store your mosses in the same cooler with um, flowers. Moss gives off a lot of ethylene. And even dirty buckets. Let's say that you're, you're filling up a cart, you're going to dump all your buckets later, but you're right in the process of it. Get that cart out because bacteria and uh, botrytis, which is of course a disease problem with flowers, they both off-gas eth ethylene as they develop. So avoid all the sources of ethylene. Keep fruits and, and flowers in separate uh, coolers. Keep your moss out of the cooler. Keep your um, flowers cold. It, ethylene is a lot less problematic when you're colder than 40 degrees or colder. And use the right terminology when you're describing the problem. If you see it on arrival when you're inspecting and you, you want to describe what your quality issue is, call it what it is so that you can get fast action.